If you could be anybody else in the show, who would you be? Oh, wow. That is a really difficult question. Oh my god, I don't know, who would you be? Oh my god, no one's ever asked me. Yeah, right, now you know, it's a really hard <laughs> That is tough. Yeah. yeah. If, if he was playing Arya, then I'd really want to play the hound just so that I could be taller than him for once. There you go. That'd be quite fun. Right, you're not in the least bit creepy. Are you expecting me to be creepy? Well, I just think those those read that read brother and yeah, sister. They're weird, yeah, they're, they're a weird duo, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, not in the same difference the kind of a way, but yeah, but you, you don't give off any any weirdness there. Oh, well, I'm delighted. I mean, that's my aim in life, really. To not, to to not give off weirdness. weirdness yeah. yeah, I was a big fan before I got involved, and uh, that was why I was so excited when I found out that I was going to be auditioning. It was like, <gasps> yay! Also, I'm so excited to be part of the gang. It's great. <laughs> I never know about these hats because like they're really cool. But then you always look a bit pretentious when you're wearing them. Like, hi, I'm a very cultured artist. Yeah, no, I loved it because I love the fact that I'm a girl in Game of Thrones who's wearing trousers and doesn't have to get naked or die yet. But like, she's not, she's just not scared by anything, even though she's really short, which I also um, realised. So I was pretty excited about that. Uh, and they're very kind of mysterious and like, they, they kind of hunt frogs and they're very, very short, which is handy for me. Yes because I'm only five foot one and half an inch, and that half is very important. <laughs> um, he has such a hard time because he has like this massive costume, which is like incredibly heavy. And because we film loads of stuff outside, often it gets like really, really wet and really muddy. So by the end of the day, he's like kind of slumping around and being like, oh my God, I'm carrying around like 10 extra pounds. My most loved and most hated scene was the rabbit skinning scene because like it was so much fun to do. Uh, it was actually like great to learn that skill and, and, and working with Nat was a lot of fun. Um, and it was a really like fun scene because of all the competition stuff. But at the same time, skinning those rabbits for hours and hours was like horrendous, and we couldn't wash the smell out of our hands for like two days. So it was amazing and horrendous simultaneously. Yeah, exactly. Rabbits too. I'm your lady. So I'm really, really small, but I just can't. I never learned to walk in high heels. So if I try and wear them now, it's like it's got to the stage where it's embarrassing. You know, someone's like, oh look. Wear these high heels, they look really great on you. And I have to make some awkward excuse because I can't say, no, I, I can't, I've never learned to walk in them. You know when you see people on TV and they're like so glamorous and they're like doing their little walk, their little high heel walk? Um, I just trip over in them. And then I met um, David and Dan, the producers, and we had a chat and I did it. But I, as soon as I finished, I thought, oh, I haven't got it because I messed up the lines. I was really nervous. And this big long speech, which actually <laughs> didn't make it into the series. Right. <laughs> Maybe a sign of my acting talent. Uh, and uh, <laughs> and um, I, uh, yeah, and I forgot the lines halfway through, and I thought, oh god, I just haven't got this. There's no point. I might as well run out of the room now. But I finished it, and then I got the call saying I got it, and I was like, this is amazing. In, in the books, he's called Little Grandfather because he's like really wise beyond his years, and that is totally what Thomas Sangster is. <laughs> he's like, he really enjoys like cigars and like motorbikes. <laughs> No one does, no, but he was just very good. Uh, apparently my eye is slightly high and he was like a wizard. He went, ah, so uh, just just look, like look half a metre above where you should be shooting, or like half a centimetre, whatever it was, above where you should be shooting. Yeah, half a metre sounds extreme. Yeah. Half a centimetre above where you should be shooting and you'll hit a bullseye. And I did straight away, it was like, yeah. What? Um, what did I do to get into, into the role of Mira? I, um, I sort of like, I went out like in like on a quite a lot of walks into the woods before I got it and was like, mm, how would I how would I behave if I was Mira now? Um, but I always had to do that on my own because I didn't want any of my friends to see me because that would be much too embarrassing. I just did one episode of it first where I played a werewolf. Mm -hmm. Didn't actually get a transformation scene, which I was kind of sad about. Mm. I thought I was going to be like, you know, prosthetic up. It'd be very itchy though, I imagine. Yeah, very true. Yeah. Very true. So thank you. You've yeah. made me feel a bit better about that now. Um, once um, at home, I'd put all my jumpers in one drawer. Didn't open the drawer for like two months. Opened it and all of my jumpers had loads of holes in it. So I thought it was like moths or something, you know? It turned out a mouse had made a nest. A mouse had made a nest out of my jumpers. How dare it? Uh, one, thing I, um, one, th one thing I feel sorry for you a little bit in the show is your name is Mira Reed. Now, if you think of some of these fantastic names people have, mm. Mira Reed does sound a little bit like a real life a real life name. I kind of like that. I mean, I kind of like that it's not a mad name because, you know, it suits her. She's pretty, like, she's a pretty down to earth character. She's just mm. no nonsense. Don't need all of that Khaleesi rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just stick to Miri. I think only, only rabbits and little tiny furry creatures will find themselves on the end of that arrow for now. For now, yeah. Unless you cross her path. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Don't cross Mira. She'll kill you. <laughs> yes, be warned. Yeah, totally. I'm not joking. Be warned. <laughs> you look quite scary when you say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>